Nearly all of the sentences that we encounter in arguments are contingent propositions. That is, they vary in value depending on the circumstances surrounding them. Sometimes they're true and sometimes they're false, which we can express in a truth table. Here's our initial sentence. M ampersand open parenthesis N V P close parenthesis. We read this as both M and either N or P. The main connective is the ampersand, so the sentence as a whole is a conjunction. The conjunct on the right, the subsentence either N or P, is a disjunction, as we can see by the use of V, our symbol for disjunction. We have three variables, M, N, and P, so our truth table will need eight rows, obtained by exponentiating base 2 to the power of 3. Here's the complete truth table, with all our values filled in, and the column for the main connective circled. Notice the way we've arrayed the table to the left of the double line. In the column immediately to the left, we alternate T and F. In the next column, we go by twos, TT, FF, TT, FF. And in the third column, the one farthest left, we group by fours, TT, TT, FF, FF. Once we've input these values, we move to the right-hand side of the double line, copying the values from the reference columns to the columns underneath the letters for the atomic sentences. Once that's done, we can proceed to calculate the values for the sentence connectives. We start with the V, since it has a smaller scope than the main connective, which is the ampersand. Once we've input those values, we can determine the values for the conjunction as a whole, as in the circled column. As you can see, the sentence is sometimes true and sometimes false. That's our definition of a contingency. These three types of sentences, contingencies, tautologies, and contradictions, are exhaustive. Any truth functional compound sentence must belong to one and only one of these categories. Next up, we'll see how a truth table can be used to determine logical equivalence.